Sir, last week I was busy with my escalation, so that's why I couldn't take the classes for you. So you people are doing the designs, right? College web pages, right? So yes, sir. Uh, this confirm how many pages you have created using the HTML and uh, current CSS properties, right? So I will take some additional properties also today, uh, and then we'll try to complete uh, by Wednesday the CSS properties, right? So last class, what are the properties we have discussed? Pseudo element, text to shadow. Gradient, background. Linear and uh, the radiant. 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 Today, today we will discuss about the transform properties, right? So we are having the property thing called transform. So in the transform, we are having some different uh, methods. Okay, so we are having 2D transform and 3D transform also, but in our uh, application design, only 2D transform is applicable because 3D means 3D view. So 3D view we are not going to do. So 3D view in the sense, additionally one value will come, like is that the center point value will come. So we can take X and Y, X in the sense, like width, Y in the sense height. Okay, so horizontal and vertical value will be taking that. So mostly 2D transform only we will be using. So we are having four different methods in the transform property. Okay. So we will see one by one. So what are the properties and what is the use case of these properties and everything? Clear? Fine. So first property is translate method. Okay. The property is transform only, but in that property we will be using translate method. Like how we have used URL method and linear gradient method for backgrounds. Like rice, we'll be using translate method for the transform property. Okay, so any idea about translate generally? Sir, one option to another option translated. Sir. One, one position to another position. Change. One form to another form. One form to another form. Like, uh, like uh, how can we represent the translate method in the sense simply like? We used margin and padding space for spacing the content, like the spacing and the alignment for the specific content. Okay, but this specific translate method, same kind of alignment, like means spacing, but it will move one element from its original position to other position based on the value we are giving in the width and height. 